Je lichaam activeren klinkt wel mooi, maar hoe kun je dat het beste doen? Eerst wat info over het ontstaan. Het is namelijk begonnen in 1968 toen een Amerikaanse arts het enzym superoxide dismutase, afgekort SOD, ontdekte. Dit enzym en het enzym katalase komen voor in alle levende cellen die worden blootgesteld aan zuurstof. Beide enzymen bestrijden grote hoeveelheden vrije radicalen. Eén katalase enzym kan miljoenen vrije radicalen ontvergiften per seconde. En voor wat betreft de snelheid en efficiëntie komt SOD hier achteraan. Dit effect is daarmee vele malen groter dan wat bijvoorbeeld vitamine C kan doen. Dit is belangrijk, want er dient in het lichaam een balans te zijn tussen antioxidanten en vrije radicalen. Vanaf 1988 is deze arts met enkele collega's en investeerders begonnen om een natuurlijk product te ontwikkelen dat zowel SOD als katalase kan activeren. In 2003 werd het product gelanceerd en in dat jaar is ook Nutrigenomica ontstaan, de wetenschap die bestudeert hoe onze genen aan- en uitgezet kunnen worden. Het product activeert het NRF2-enzym, wat op haar beurt niet alleen SOD en katalase activeert, maar ook honderden andere antioxidanten en detox-enzymen. Het is leuk dat ik dit vertel, maar het is nog mooier als een arts hierover vertelt. Luister daarom naar wat deze expert hierover zegt. Hier is een gedeelte uit een online interview met de Amerikaanse cardioloog Dr. Benny Maniscalco. 50 years ago, it'll give you an idea of how long I've been around. I was in my first medical school uh, biochemistry lecture, listening to a Nobel laureate present data on how we human beings make cellular energy. And in, in that course, I'll, I'll, I'll dummy it down for us all. He said, you take in oxygen, you combust it with food, and you make a thing called ATP. And that's our energy, and we now understand it precisely. And then he said something that didn't mean a thing to me till about 50 years later, almost 50 years. And that was, we haven't figured out yet how to deal with the side products from the production of energy. And we call those things free radicals because those chemicals that are made are unstable. And as a consequence, uh, they're always looking for a place to hook up with another molecule. And if we don't neutralize them, uh, they cause damage. So there's oxidative stress in a nutshell. Uh, from the time you're born and I'm born, uh, we breathe in oxygen. And even before that, we're taking in oxygen from mom and we're producing uh, oxidative stress. That is, we are metabolizing oxygen, combusting it and making energy. And then as we go through life, we're exposed to more and more things that cause us to make free radicals. And so that's what we really call uh, a problem because oxidative stress to define it for you a little bit differently is the ex excess of free radicals over antioxidants, which we use to neutralize them. So that was my first introduction. And I said, wow, well, this is impressive. This fella, who gave the biochemistry lecture, won the Nobel. And along comes another fellow named Joel McCord, who studies with his first, uh, with his first professor I had at Duke Uni University Medical School. And uh, he was gonna solve the problem of how we deal with the free radicals. And he uh, rationalized that, why do we get all this oxygen from the plants that we use in our atmosphere and breathe and live on why aren't they getting problems? So he starts looking at various plant lives and looks at a whole host of, of uh, living organisms and says, wow, they all have this one molecule in here and a couple of three others that are very powerful in neutralizing the free radicals. And so he discovered that uh, there was a master protein in our cell that helped regulate uh, what our cell was going to do in terms of what molecules to produce. So let me, let me take it one step further. If, you, if you're making free radicals and uh, you neutralize them because you have plenty of antioxidants, no foul, no harm. But the minute you can't neutralize that free radical, it attaches any place it can in your cell. It can attach to the membrane of the cell. It can attach to the mitochondria. 
It can attach to the chromosomes, it can attach to the nucleus, and when it does, it creates a situation in which there is a foreign substance which the cell recognizes as being foreign and we get an injury. And the minute you get that injury, the cell must do something to contain it, stop it, uh, and make it go away. So it turns some of its machinery into making molecules which are part of the inflammation reaction. So let me say that again. If you have an injury, the body will always make proteins that are going to contain the injury and repair it. That's called inflammation. And inflammation always, always ends up in a scar. And that means you and I, as we're having this talk tonight, are making scar as we sit here, because we're breathing oxygen, we're combusting it, we're making free, radical, free radicals, and we have a response in our cell trying to contain them. But the minute we can't neutralize them all, then we start getting the scar, and that is called disease. So at the cellular level, we call that aging. At the macro level, we call that disease because every time we make a scar, we replace a normal cell. And if we replace enough normal cells, we injure the organ. And if we injure the organ, then we have things like heart failure, kidney failure, strokes, heart attacks, et cetera, cancer. So in short, what we really have is the beginning of all disease comes from this whole process of injury occurring by virtue of the fact that we're alive. Having said all that, I learned that before I went back to this young man who told me about this product. And I said, well, if it in fact cuts down on inflammation, then I must be able to measure that. And it turns out that there's some laboratory tests that we can run. And I took the first 100 patients that I gave this product to, measured their levels of inflammation and the inflammatory proteins in their blood, gave them the little yellow pill, and remeasured in two to three months. Okay. I didn't know what I'd find, but here's what I found. Every one of them dropped their inflammation levels every one of them dropped all of their oxidative stress levels. Therefore, by taking the medication and turning on a process which you now know as NRF2 activation. So what Dr. McCord discovered was that there are natural occurring life forms and plants and foods that if put in the right combination, we will be able to turn on uh, the mechanism through the NRF2 molecule to make huge amounts, millions per second, of antioxidants, which we were not making at that point. And that is what stopped the inflammation. Therefore, it stopped the scar formation. Therefore, it's delaying disease and retarding the whole process of aging. So that's how I got into it. I, I tested all these patients and to date, to date probably in our practice, we've had somewhere between 3,500 and 4,500 patients on the product and I recommend it to every single living human being who walks through my door.